Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss the immunoaffinity chromatography. Campbell et al. in 1951 for the first time in modern days purified antibodies by using serum albumin immobilized to para amino benzyl cellulose. The immunoaffinity chromatography can be carried out using either monoclonal antibodies polyclonal antibodies auto antibodies or anti idiotypic antibodies the principle the antibodies are immobilized to a matrix or bids using either covalent linkage to the reactive sites on the resin or protein a and g of bacterial cell wall these immobilized antibodies are then packed into the chromatographic column when a complementary antigen is added at a neutral ph the antigen binds with the immobilized antibody while the remaining antigens or the proteins they get eluted the antigen of interest then can be eluted using suitable solvent or under appropriate conditions like ph 2 buffer methanol and 10% acetonitrile immuno affinity chromatography is a type of affinity chromatography in which immobilized antibody or in some cases immobilized antigen is used for selective assay or purification of antigen or antibody for example flag trademark the monoclonal antibody immobilized on a matrix is directed against the flag sequence which is nothing but a short hydrophilic amino acid sequence of aspartate tyrosine lysine aspartate 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 lysine and added to the end terminus of a targeted protein the tagged proteins binds with monoclonal antibody while other proteins are eluted through chromatographic column the elution of tagged protein is carried out by chelating agent that is edta that binds with calcium which is essential for tagging of proteins with the flag sequence the flag tag is removed by enterokinase that recognizes n aspartate 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 lysine c sequence and cleaves the c terminal to the lysine residue the supporting matrix for immuno affinity chromatography an ideal supporting matrix must have good efficiency mechanical stability low non specific binding easy modification for antibody attachment ideal pore size in bracket most immuno affinity chromatography support media have pore size in the range of 300 to 500 angstrom unit low performance materials like agarose and cellulose that are related to the carbohydrate or acryl amide polymethyl acrylate or polyether sulfone etc that are synthetic organic support matrix can be used in immuno affinity chromatography do carbohydrate related or synthetic organic support matrix are cheap they have slow mass transfer properties used only under low back pressures like under gravity flow that is they are not suitable to use under the high pressure present in high performance liquid chromatography a modified version of immuno affinity chromatography that couples antibody with HPLC called HPIAC that is high performance immuno affinity chromatography uses rigid high efficiency supports like glass derivatized silica azalactone beds polystyrene based perfusion media etc antibody immobilization methods the antibody can be immobilized onto the matrix either by covalent attachment or through adsorption methods the covalent attachment methods are most common they may range from random attachment to amino or carboxylic group or selective by means of addition of thiol or modified carbohydrate moiety the antibodies should be mobilized in such a way that 
it should not affect the binding site of an antibody should not affect the accessibility of target molecule with antigen binding sites four methods can be used to immobilize antibodies to the support as use of free amino groups of antibody site selective methods use of secondary ligands for adsorption and use of proteins a or protein g first use of free amine groups of antibody antibodies can be immobilized through amine groups present in antibody this is achieved by activating the support through agents like yn carbonyl imidazole cyanogen bromide yn hydroxy succinamide or tracyl chloride or tocyl chloride or agents that produce reactive epoxy or aldehyde groups surface of support matrix this is the easiest way of antibody immobilization but it can cause decrease in antibody activity if amine group is present within the antigen binding site due to random orientation of antibodies during immobilization there is a steric hindrance and decrease in the binding efficiency of antibody second site selective methods use of free sulfhydryl groups that is the sulfhydryl groups are generated during the generation of fab fragments which can be used for immobilization by using techniques such as divinyl sulfon epoxy iodoacetyl or bromoacetyl maleamide or tracyl chloride or tocyl chloride methods another method of site selective immobilization involves the use of carbohydrate residues present in the fc region of antibodies the carbohydrate residues are first oxidized to aldehyde followed by the reaction of aldehyde with hydroxide or amine groups of support matrix third use of secondary ligands for adsorption antibodies are allowed to react with biotin to form biotinylated antibodies these biotinylated antibodies get adsorbed onto the support matrix containing immobilized avidin neutravidin which is the modified avidin from peers or streptavidin the binding of yn hydroxy succinamide d biotin with the amine within the antigen binding site leads to decreased binding the streptavidin also cause random orientation of biotinylated antibodies hydroxide biotin on the other hand reacts with aldehyde produced after oxidation of carbohydrate residues present on the fc region of antibody as a result there is no decrease in binding capacity of antibody use of protein a or protein g protein a and protein g are the bacterial cell wall proteins that bind strongly with fc region of many antibodies under physiological conditions antibodies immobilized on protein a or protein g supports have high antibody activity but there is a need to replace the immunoaffinity chromatographic column frequently as a result of frequent replacement of antibodies large quantity of antibodies are required as compared to other immobilization methods the frequent replacement can be minimized by immobilizing the protein a or protein g using carbodiamide or dimethyl pyrimidate elution conditions the analyte can be eluted from the immunochromatographic column using conditions that allow for fast elution of analyte without affecting regeneration of immobilized antibodies the elution is achieved by changing the ph of mobile phase that is lowering the ph from physiological ph to ph near about 2 or by adding 
कैवोट्रॉपिक एजेंट टू मोबाइल फेस दैवोट्रॉपिक एजेंट सच एज थायोसाइनेट ट्राइफ्लूरोसिटेट पर क्लोरेट आयोडाइट और क्लोराइड कैन बी एडेड टू द इल्यूजन बफर द इल्यूशन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दीज एजेंट फॉलो द अप्रोक्सिमेट ऑर्डर एज थायोसाइनेट ट्राइफ्लोरोसिटेट पर क्लोरेट आयोडाइड एंड क्लोराइड these agents are typically used at concentrations of 1.5 to 8 molar and have been shown to be effective in dissociating high affinity antigen antibody complexes other less common illusion techniques involve use of competing agents organic modifiers or denaturating agents to the mobile phase or changing the temperature of the column during illusion applications of immuno affinity chromatography extraction of trace quantities of pesticides from waste water and other sources extraction of hormones from patient sample compounds like proteins glycoproteins carbohydrates lipids bacteria viral particles drugs and environmental agents can be selectively purified from complex mixtures using immuno affinity chromatography the immuno affinity chromatography can be used for direct detection of an analytes such as serum albumin recombinant tissue type plasminogen activator recombinant antithrombin third acetylcholine esterase insulin etc by placing a suitable detector after immuno affinity chromatography column the immuno affinity chromatography is used for immuno extraction that is nothing but the removal of specific analyte or group of analytes before analysis of sample with second analytic methods like gas chromatography mass spectroscopy etc immuno affinity chromatography is used in immuno depletion that is removal of abundant analyte so that minor sample components can be analyzed by second analytical method for example most abundant serum protein albumin can be removed by immuno affinity chromatography so that other trace proteins from the serum can be analyzed for proteomics thank you